end of the nightmare frontier. All right, everyone, time to get this over with. The nightmare frontier is surely, damn it, already off to a bad start. That spider was down here, wasn't it? No, there you are. Nice. We don't really need any of these for our playthrough anyway, because we already have our Ludwig blade to plus nine, and the only the only thing left to upgrade it is the blood rock, which there's only one of in the base game, which we will collect in a couple levels time. Let's see if we can sneak up on our little friend here. Little doggy with a... Sometimes it's hard to lock on to him. Oh, that's all right. We'll get him. Oof, that, that is a rough way to go. All right, let's get this over with, though. Like I said in the previous episode, Nightmare Frontier is probably my least favorite place in the game, if I'm being honest. It's just not particularly interesting to me. It's just kind of the textures are bland and dull, and I just don't love it, to be honest with you. But... But it's part of the game, so we're going to play it. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I think the Nightmare Frontier is technically optional. You actually don't have to come here to complete the game. I'm pretty sure, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, Amygdala is an optional boss. But I like facing every boss in the game and completing what we came here to do. So we're going to take her out. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, you're the guy we shot off the cliff earlier. Darn it, some crescent gems, but what we're looking for, we're still looking for non-fire and bolt crescent gems. And I keep meaning to look up if there even are any, if there even are any that aren't in, that are outside of the chalice dungeons. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh sh shit, that would have not been what I was looking to do. But anyway, we're going to go face a couple of NPC hunters. See, one of them's already making their way down. These guys are actually fairly easy to take out. He's got the hunter axe, so let's see if we can get a repost. Yep. That was telegraph all day, son. Oh, I probably could have got another repost real quick. Well, like I said, these guys aren't very hard to take out. Maybe you're supposed to come to the Nightmare Frontier earlier, because every time I come here, I feel like those NPCs are scaled for an earlier time in the game. But then Amygdala is fairly difficult, so I don't know. Maybe their scaling is just a little off for whatever reason. Anyway, there's going to be another one that comes out eventually. I think she has the... yeah, here, there you are. Yeah, she's a little more difficult, or he. Are you a he or a she? Alright, let's not get too crazy. Ah. Alright, we should be able to parry him fairly easily. Ooh, almost took too much time. And that should be the end of you. Alright, so, wow, they were even easier than I remembered. It's easy to cut to it's easy to miss a couple places to go in the nightmare frontier. Like last time I played, I ended up in an area that I'd never even gone to before. Is it this way? No, I definitely don't want to jump down there right now though. I mean you could if you want. I'm just not a fan of going into poison lake areas. Not a fan at all. There's probably a couple of poison swamps. I'm honestly going to entirely skip, and I usually do, just because usually there, there's some Cold Dew Blood items that you can get and level up, but it's just like the trade-off to me is just not really worth it of possibly the frustration of going in there, losing your echoes, having to go all the way back and find them again. <laughs> it's really easy to, to lose. Watch out for this, because there's a guy... It's gonna start chucking rocks at us from above. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Oh, you're over there. Jesus Christ. A-hole. Alright, that's cool. 
that is all right. We're just going to run back to where we are real quick. God, yeah, these guys are such of a pain. There's, the, there's like little paths that you could take to make your way up to them. But yeah, these are one of the more infuriating enemies in the game because their rocks will one-shot you. That's okay. We are not too far. And those NPC hunters obviously will not respawn. So it should only take us a second to get back to there. We'll take the blood echoes anyway. Give me them blood echoes. I think that was just probably... What did you drop? Last time you actually dropped the gem. So let me actually go see what that one... What do you got? Yeah, he's just going to keep dropping fire, blood, gemstones. You know what? Am I going crazy? Or maybe... Maybe the crescent shape... Maybe the crescent gems... Are only... Fire bolt. Or am I... Just totally wrong about that. I should look that up. I've been meaning to for multiple episodes now. All right, cool. Let's cut back around. Again, you could jump down there if you want and go that way. I probably wouldn't. Like I said, I tend to try and avoid. I tend to try to avoid going in poison swamps. Yeah, it's real easy to lose your blood echoes in this game, or in this uh this level. Everything starts to look the same after a while. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, let's go in here and say hi to our friend. Alright, well... That's not what was intended. Alright, so you don't have our... Ooh, what was that? Beast Hunter... Is that what we are looking for? Beast Hunter Blood, attack versus beast, up 8.8. .8. All right, so we could at least add that, because none of these are going to do us any good, but we could at least chuck that in there for now, and that won't scale us off arcane or anything like that. Nice, there are our echoes. You're over there. Why am I confused? I don't usually come this way. All right, oh, I see where I are. Oh, this is the area I was saying, Jesus Christ, this is the area I was saying I don't usually go this way, but last time I played I went a different direction than I normally do. Sweet, that's going to make that easier that I can one-shot them. His stupid friend did not say us. By the way, it's probably a good idea to come here with a few blue elixirs. Alright, so on this one, you want to be careful. Actually, you know what? Let's take this now. I feel like dealing with this guy. So as you can see, his friend way across the way over there is actually going to spot us if you try to sneak up on him. But we should be okay. Blue elixir magic. Just kind of keep an eye out. Out of the corner of your eye. All right, you didn't see us. You got to keep kind of keep an eye out for him because he will chuck his rock across this entire frickin' area and one-shot you. Alright. I feel like there's an item around here somewhere. Alright, you're over there, but you gotta be careful again, because actually, you know what we're gonna do? Let's lure him over, because he's gonna start chucking rocks at us while we try to face this guy. Alright, good, they both see us. Alright, but we'll drag him over here and we'll take him on without rocks being hurled at our face. I don't think he could reach us from here. Nope. Sweet. I love when a plan comes together. That worked out pretty cleanly. All right, so we're just gonna wanna keep an eye on him across the way. All right, let's let him throw it and then we'll just run. I forgot, is there another one of you in here somewhere? I feel like there's one more of these giant guys up here somewhere. Oh, you baby ass. That's for earlier. Alright. Yeah, I used to miss this area all the time for some reason. I used to not realize how to actually get up here. But now, we are here. 
You could go grab these guys if you want. Like I said, at this point in the game, I'm actually... Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot that happens. Oh, and that's that little shortcut back to this area. Duh. For some reason, I never... I always miss that, my first bunch of playthroughs. Let's go back to this area, make sure we picked up every little... Every item we can get. Wait. Oh, Jesus, freak. I would be with the tail sign. Twin bloodstones. Alright. Did we miss any items? It's possible there's an item back there somewhere. Let's see, let's just do a double check. I don't see anything. There's probably nothing. Most of the items in this area are going to be shards, which we already have, which is kind of an indication you should probably come here earlier. But Amygdala is, like, relatively difficult for that indication, so I like to come here. This is just when I like to come here in the game, just so I don't have to deal with Amygdala, because she hits like a truck. All right. Alright, that's why I need to go the other way. See, I get lost. I get lost so easy in this level. It's like so hard to keep everything mapped out correctly in your head. It's so easy to get turned around and lost. There we go. That's where I want to go. Let's go grab. Got a little friend over there. Okay, so. See those coins on the ground leading to that item that's right over the ledge? There's our friend Patches over there. I believe if you run try to get that item, I don't think you could turn around and look and like dodge him coming at you. I think it literally just plays a cutscene and has him push you into the poison pool down below. So I don't believe you could run in there and just dodge it. Now, I'm almost positive there's a way, I feel like I've done this before and seen other people do it, where you could take rocks and let's get our pretty sure you can knock him off if you do this. <laughs> Let's see if I can make this happen. Oh, I hope this works. Step away from the edge. All right. Ah, oh, a little low. Ah, oh, we're a little too far. Shite. Let's take that off. Let's see if we can get a little closer. See, I don't want to actually fall down there. I feel like this is possible. I feel like I've either done this before or I've seen people do this before. Maybe it was in an older version and it's patched now. <laughs> Get it? Patch and patches. Oh no, there he goes. Got him. Alright, now I hope there's not some bullshit where you knock him off there, but then like the animation still plays anyway. God damn it. See, it's going to do it anyway. Jesus Christ powerful coating. See, he's going to come shove us off right now, even though we just clearly knocked him off the ledge. Maybe it's because we didn't full out kill him. Well, at least you guys get to see the cutscene now. Oh, shut up. Douchebag. Alright, well, you're for sure getting shanked when I go back to the second floor lecture building later. A-hole. All right, well, now what we're going to want to do, because we're going to be in this poison swamp, is take out Let Elixir. Let's see, it's Antidote. Oh, uh, shite, which way do I want to go? I get lost so easily in caves. Okay, so don't panic panic about the poison. You definitely want to be, like, aware of it, but it's not a deal breaker. See, I think I want to go this way. Alright, well, let's for sure take that out. Ugh, just being in this swamp freaks me out. Alright, so there's a bunch of you over there. There's a bunch of these. Uh, powerful stamina management. Alright, I think the exit is... I 
the other way actually. And also, I don't want to go over there because I'm pretty positive there's a singing lantern, which is pretty much the worst thing I've ever come across in my entire video game career. My career, I'm going pro. You can, if you want, if you're brave enough to spend time in here, you can get a lot of, gotta be a little more cognizant of my health. You can get a lot of blood echoes playing around in here. So if you have the cojones to wander around in here, you can pick up a lot of cold blood and whatnot. So feel free if you enjoy being slowly poisoned to death as the dog goes nuts. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, I think this is the longest I've ever spent in here before. Is this the exit or is this where the Winter Lantern is? This seems awful creepy. I don't hear a Winter Lantern yet. Oh, thank God for that civilization. All right, so, where are we? Let's hurry up and take a quick look around before people start. Yeah, there is one up there. All right, so there's another one of those rock drug douches up there. He's right up there, so we're gonna probably, there's an item over there. Let's see, should we make a quick run for it? Come on, buddy, throw another rock in it. Gotta watch out for this poison. God, there's just so much precarious shit around here. Antidotes didn't really need to get that. And now we are just going to make a run diagonally to the other side where that blue light is. That's all you got to do. Follow the blue light. Because I definitely don't want this guy. Oh my god, if that rock hit me, I would have not been happy. Alright, let's just run over here and recover. Alright. We are gonna live, we're gonna make it. Shoot, I didn't get his buddy across the way. He's probably in that area where Patches shoved us off. If you were paying close attention, where Patches shoved us off, there was a little item hanging above, which I don't believe I'm gonna run get right now. You can run get that if you wish, but it's not totally necessary. All right, what do I want to do? You know what? You know what? No, let's not be lazy. Let's go get this, but be quick, because they will start throwing rocks at you. All right. Oh, shite. See, I really don't want to get hit with a boulder here and then have to start this whole level again or run all the way back to where I am. All right, where's that other item? I saw an item when I was running on the way by. I just really don't want to get demolished by a boat. Oh god, there's one there. Alright, you know what? Save yourself! Save yourself! I might come back later and try to grab the one or two items that I missed. But for now, let's at least get the shortcut. We're all the way over here. We might as well at least get the shortcut. And there is a singing lantern. What we're gonna do is we are going to, I don't know if you guys can hear that, my dog is losing her shit while another dog walks by in the background, walks by outside. Let's see, we are going to get rid, we're gonna, all right, Jesus Christ, Lucy. Hey! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't She's freaking out. I was worried about your uh, baby. No, it's fine. <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> Just shut the door. Yeah. Alright, so, you see the winter lantern in the background. We're going to go ahead and take a blue elixir and get your sedative ready. You know what? We're even going to take out bolt paper. Let's see. She will even see you. You would think she would see the electricity anyway. 
but it does buy us an extra second or so. Wow, she still doesn't see us. Yep, now she sees us. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, don't want to play around with Frenzy too much. Wow, why is my Frenzy meter filling up so damn much? Oh wow, took her out in one shot. Alright, definitely went really OP on the item buffs right there, but... Oh shit. Wait, wrong one. I'm thinking of the, ne the next one down. Be careful of that. Oh, settle down. Oh, Jesus, that thing almost one-shotted me right off the cliff. Or not one-shotted me, but that thing almost launched me right off the cliff. Alright, I'm still trying to recover from my dog. Freaking out, trying to get back in the zone here. Frenzied cold blood. We've actually picked up a good amount of cold blood in our travels. I was saying, too, before my dog started losing her shit, that um, there actually is... I might go back later, careful of that ledge, I might go back later and collect the one or two items we missed. Um, similarly, there's another, there's another massive poison swamp cave here that if you feel like going into, by all means, I don't believe I'm going to explore it that much, but you can get a lot of echoes by venturing in. I don't know if you could hear, but I, you could already hear the winter lanterns singing in the background. There's a couple of them in there. There's at least one. Amygdala is going to be through that way, but we are going to go home and spend our echoes first. Because a lot of these will drop cold blood. And you can get a lot of echoes by adventuring in here. I'll go a little bit in, just to show I'm not a complete wuss. Yeah, I can't go up that side. But if you're going to explore this cave, I highly recommend doing so with many antidotes, sedatives, possibly blue elixirs. Actually, let's take an antidote here. All right, we're definitely going to go back and refuel on everything either way first. Take out our friend. I don't think there's anything over here. If you can see those ship masts there, that's actually kind of cool, because that's actually technically part of the DLC, because this is the Nightmare Frontier, which is technically stacked on top of on top of... God, I lost my train of concentration ever since my dog freaked out. <laughs> um, it's stacked on top of uh, the hunter's or the hunter's nightmare, and specifically the fishing hamlet, where you face the orphan of cause. All right, trying to regain a composure. First, we're gonna go back anyway. We have a lot of items. A lot of cold blood and a lot of echoes. So we're going to go back and heal up, take on Ag Amygdala, possibly explore some caves. I don't know yet, but possibly explore some caves and at least take out Amygdala. All right. Back on track. Fancy cold blood. Deek cold blood. My dog's actually a very good dog. She just is very loyal and she freaks out at anyone that is not my wife, myself, or close family and friends. She has to have met you multiple times. If she sees strangers walking by in the background, she will freak out. Well, what is it? It is you desire. So what we're gonna do is bump up our vitality. Which I should have done. I should have left strength and skill on 25 and bumped up my vitality to 50. I messed that up. But either way, this works too. Ludwig's blade can't be updated yet. We still need that elusive blood rock. Let's 
go ahead. So for runes, we're going to want to go HP, stamina, take off the moon rune since we're just facing a boss. And I don't think the moon rune scales echoes you get from a boss. And let's go. We'll take an extra blood vial. Yeah, that's what we want to do for that. And now also we're going to have to buy some blood vials because we are running low. Buy some vials. Let's see, what did we get to? That got us to 18. Can we sell anything to grab a few more vials? What can we sell? How much are blood vials? Let's see, blood vials are 720. A little pricey there. Skeletons. Oh, you could sell Great Ones Wisdom, huh? You could sell the Tenitris, which I'm not going to use. I'd feel bad selling the work, the hunter tools. Should I sell these? Is that is that is that frowned upon? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to be doing a new game, and I'm not going to be using the hunter tools. I. You know what? I don't think I'm going to regret this. I wouldn't do this, but for the sake of the playthrough, and the sake I could have. You know what? I'm not going to use any of those in this playthrough. So for the sake of my playthrough. I'm going to go ahead and sell those. Don't do that on your end. Definitely don't do that on your end. That was a little bit of a lazy route there, but I'm not going to be using any of them, so there's not really a point in keeping them at this time. Let's see. Go ahead and get fire. I'm trying to remember if amygdala is weak to fire or bolt. I feel like she's might I feel like she's weak to both. But also, she shoots arcane attacks, so we're going to want to go ahead and put on whatever our strongest arcane attire is. There's a stronger arcane set elsewhere in the game, but I'm trying to recall if you get that outside of the chalice dungeons or not. It's, it's more or less the set that uh, Alfred's wearing, I believe. Student uniform. Oh, two different variations of the student uniform. One thing that's kind of cool, I forgot to mention because I didn't want to look her directly in the eyes, but some people have theorized, which sounds super nerdy, but you know what? The lore in this game is interesting. But anyway, some people have speculated, I should say, that the doll is actually somewhat linked to the singing lanterns, those winter lanterns somehow, because if you look really close, she's actually wearing like the same outfit as the doll. The doll has the same outfit on as the singing lanterns. And also some mumbo jumbo about, about the, about the winter lanterns eyes and some lore linked to the doll's eyes, but I, I can't recall that. Exactly. Like I said in a previous episode, if you want more in-depth on that sort of thing, look up the channel Vati Vidya, and they will have, he will have all the answers you need. That's pretty much where I learned most of what I learned. There's another guy too, shoot, I, there's a couple of them, I can't remember the other names off the top of my head. But for now, we can run by our friend that we took out earlier and make our way to Amygdala's chamber, which I invariably take a couple attempts <laughs> to remember exactly where it is. That's right, across here. And now we are going to take on our foe. All right, first try, son. Let's take her out on the first try. She's actually kind of difficult because her head sits high. And depending on your weapon, she could be hard to reach. Oh, missed it. Too slow. Oh, she's already freaking out at us. You want to go for her head. Her head is her weak spot. Her head and her arms. And she also hits like a Mack truck. So you're going to want to be careful of that. You saw the path on this earlier. Look at the, where the fire goes, not where... Alright, let's go get a headshot. Oh! Oh, there we go. And we're going to be able to repost her, I believe. Yes! You watch where her... Oh, we just missed her on the follow-up. She's gonna eventually get pissed and break her arms off and get much more aggressive. 
Oh god, she's not happy. Yeah, oh, we should have got a headshot there. Darn it. What am I doing? Oh, I, oh, I fucked that up. Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't realize you can get a headshot on that last one. Alright, let's see if we can get a headshot. I think we can get a counter headshot. Giving us headshots. Oh, we missed! Get our arms! Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's open ourselves like this. Oh, nice, we're gonna get another repost. Ooh, we're doing pretty good here. It's probably the best I've ever done in this fight. Probably gonna rip her arms off now. Did we get another repose? Oh, I thought we got a repose there. I thought I heard it. As you can see, the legs are actually not. Oh, this for ours. Oh, come on! <laughs> Jesus Christ, we are swinging and missing. Oh shit, we actually got that on. Oh, we got stepped on again. How's that even possible? <laughs> Was she still alive? No way! <laughs> no way, son. All right. So, wow, we ran the first, the first ninety percent of that battle. We did flawlessly. Oh, heart's beating, son. Came close a couple times. The first half of that, first ninety. Wow, I was really proud of the first ninety percent of that. We ran flawlessly. And then the last 10%, we decided we were going to forget all strategies, just YOLO it and try to take out her legs, which was not a good idea. You want to do what I was doing in the beginning, where you stay in front of her. And then she had so little health left. What happened is she had so little health left, I thought I can go in and just take her, take her out real quick under the legs, even though it does less damage and I could avoid her arms. So that's why I did that, but should probably try and stay in front of her the whole time. She doesn't drop as many blood echoes as I was hoping she would. Alright. That's cool, though. Took out Amygdala. And now... Like I said, we skipped a couple of things in the Nightmare Frontier. There's that one... You could more thoroughly explore the swamp caves, if you, they're poison caves, if you want. Really, the only thing that's in there is more cold blood. Uh, is more... Um, it's basically items that will give you blood echoes, so let's add that blood gemstone we wanted to add. I think we should be okay adding that. We'll report back on that next episode. Actually, you know what? I should go ahead and update these, too. Oh, damn it. That would have been super useful. Up to 18. I think eight is 18% the highest you can get without going in the Chalice Dungeons? Maybe... But that plus 18 would have been huge. All right, let's see. Tem this would give us plus... What do we have right now? This would give us plus physical up at full HP. Physical up. What do we have in there right now? We have this. Scaling to 12. See, I get confused sometimes with this. Because, like, see, oh, this will this will increase our physical attack, our blunt, and our thrust. 
This doesn't change any of those numbers, but it makes skill scale with plus 12. Plus 12. Is that, see, that's not a percentage, though, so does that mean plus 12, like, to the actual stat? But that wouldn't be scaling, that would just be adding. Yeah, I've played this game. Like I said, if you're looking for some blood gem expertise, expert analysis, you are not going to find it here. <laughs> I would recommend looking that up elsewhere if you guys really want to want some like high quality, like expert gem stuff. There's people that get like really deep into it and have could give you all kinds of formulas and everything like that, which is just not my area of expertise. But that is is gonna be the end of this episode for now take on a boss per episode i believe the next episode we will be running through the lecture building second floor and making our way to the nightmare of mensis we could either go a couple ways we can go through the nightmare of mensis or we could still do canehurst castle which i believe we should have the invitation for i'm pretty positive we ran around and got that just double check before let's see do, do, do. shit did we never pick it up key items did we never end up doing that you know what we never did end up going that was a separate playthrough all right so hopefully i'm not too late to do that i don't believe so we should still be able to do it but we never went around to asefka's clinic from the other side so this would next episode we are going to do that grab the canehurst summons and then either go to camehurst or the nightmare frontier but i hope you guys enjoyed our taking out amygdala um thanks for stopping by hope you guys have a good night 